Welcome to the Creative Cobalt. It has been two years of waiting, but finally it's here and I am very happy with this. This is Reaper Bones for Kickstarter core set and I love it. I have already uh, assembled all the miniatures so you can see them in all their glory. I'm gonna start with all the chibis and I'll just go through each and every one of them. So you got the chibi minis. There's Gandalf looking uh, guy. Here's chibi um, paladin, uh, chibi sorceress, and chibi fighter or maybe barbarian. Kind of a demonic chibi rogue maybe kind of hard to tell and another chibi fighter i usually don't uh, use uh, chibi miniatures for my game but i really like them i think they are very cute very cool and yeah i would totally play a campaign with them at some point oh. i'm just gonna put these in the back here Here's a troll, very nice, got a like a jawbone with teeth on it, using that as a club. A nice wyvern there. And this is more like the classic wyvern. I didn't much like the wyvern. Um, uh, in 5th uh, edition D&D um, it has like this uh, cobra head instead of uh, the classic dragon looking head. Uh, I mean it's, it's okay but I like this style much better. And here's a griffin. Uh, yeah, it has very large wings. Really like this sculpt. Uh, I didn't have a griffin from before, so uh, this is very welcome in my collection. Here's a cyclops, about to throw a large rocket, some puny adventurer. And this is very interesting a were rat. Whoa. Very cool looking and very big. All of these are going to need proper bases uh, after they've been painted though. Here's an interesting scope. This is um, Chaos Warrior. And he's got a very large rock he's standing on as a base. Very cool, evil looking warrior guy. Here we have a uh, demon or devil type creature. Um, and another one with a different weapon here. Always nice to have more fiends. I got a giant gorilla guy. I think there are more of them in this box. I'm just pulling straight out of the box here. Uh, yeah, this one, probably the leader uh, as it wears armor. Uh, here's one with no armor and no weapon, just clenched fists. I think there should be one more of these. Uh, they'll probably pop up later. This guy looks like a, a really large orc. A full plate mail, huge shield, and large, kind of um, gladius looking sword. Not completely gladius, but close. 
Here's the two-headed Etin. And it's very cool because you can see the two heads are focusing on different things. And um, it's like each arm is connected to each head. I really like that. And this one has some very interesting uh, details on it. Uh, you can see the club uh, or the hammer is basically kind of a baseball bat with an anvil uh, attached to it. And there are some skulls down here and it's carrying a pig on its back like rations. And it has this bag on its side and you can see a human looking hand sticking out from it. So yeah, I, I really like this one. Here's one of my favorites from uh, the entire thing. A pig carrying a pumpkin cart. And it's a very big pig. Yeah, here's another one of those uh, gor gorilla guys I spoke of earlier. Um, this one seemingly yelling a war cry or something, trying to intimidate. And we got all these snake people, like UNT. Very good variation in them. Here's even a spellcaster. Um, there might be more of those, not sure. Can't remember quite how many there's in the set. Might be more, might not be. Here's an owl bear. Like, I really like owl bears, but it has this one compared to any other owl bears. This has very small feathers on its arms. So that kind of looks weird to me. Uh, it also has these spikes on its back, so dire owl bear? I don't know. It's not any larger. Fiendish owl bear, maybe? We'll see what I do with that. Here's a half dragon or uh, maybe a dragonborn uh, with wings and a large tail. This one was actually quite interesting as he had a whole bunch of options for what he was going to have in his hands. You had like six different options for each hand, I think. Uh, I just went with standard um, rapier and a dagger, but you could have I think there was like a bag in each hand or a cup of ale in each hand and other stuff. I really like that they gave so many options because you don't really see that too often. So you can kind of choose exactly how you want it to be. Here's a classic Gandalfish uh, wizard, uh, though his hat kind of reminds, reminds me of some in between uh, your typical Gandalf wizard hat and uh, pirate's hat. Yeah, I like, the, I like those classic wizard types. Always cool to have more of those. Speaking of, here are one of the gray beards. There should be a handful of them. Here's an interesting dual wielding dude two large axes and he's got a horn on his back i'm kind of thinking horn of valhalla or something like that pretty interesting character here's a, a roman looking female warrior very cool this guy is interesting he's got a deck of cards in his hands Here's one of my other favorites from this set. It's a female minotaur. 
This was one of the last miniatures uh, that was added to the core set during the Kickstarter. We actually didn't reach this goal, but Reaper was uh, very nice and just said, hey, you can have this too. We, ju we just want you to have it, even though you didn't reach reach the Kickstarter goal or the stretch goal. So this one, as well as uh, a handful of other heroic uh, female characters were just added to at the end there. And I thought that was really cool. There are some goblins here. These are still on spruce. Always nice to have goblins. And here we have some terrain pieces, also still on spruce. Like these mystical orbs, these... Uh, pick all those again. Like fire lanterns, kind of. I don't remember what they're called. And these skulls. Nice to have. Here's what looks like a noblewoman of some kind. And here's a female fiend type of character. Uh, she doesn't stand quite upright by herself. So she needs, she definitely needs a new base. Yeah, here's here's an interesting one. A giant crab. I like this one. I always enjoy the kind of weird and uh, out of the ordinary uh, miniatures. This is definitely one of them. This guy looks like he's just a peasant with a uh, lot of muscle and a large axe. Nice fighter character. Here's a female fighter or paladin of some sort. I really like this um, character uh, amongst others because she has a very nice looking shield. I don't know if you can see the details on that shield, but it's very cool. And she has a proper armor, like no boo plate, but proper plate armor. And that's always a big plus for me. Not quite sure what this guy is. Uh, some kind of, <laughs> uh, like he's got full plate and a nice axe but he's definitely not human. I almost want to say like half ogre or, but he's kind of too small for that. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what, what he is, but he's interesting. Here's Sophie, uh, one of uh, Reaper's mascots. Uh, they have a bunch of different miniatures of Sophie, and I guess this is the latest edition. So you can see here, uh, she is a serving girl. Three mugs of ale in one hand and food on a platter in the other. Very cool. Here's some interesting ones. These are translucent or semi-translucent ghost pirates. It can be interesting to paint up when I get so far. Here's a very evil looking sarcophagus that came uh, with the set. Nice piece of terrain and also an evil looking altar. A different serving girl. Always nice to have some commoners. 
Here's what looks like a fighter of some sort. A fighter or maybe rogue or bard. She has a tiny, tiny base for some reason. There's a dual wielding fighter. Cool looking tiny base again though. But I'm going to put these all, all of these on uh, different bases anyway. There's another goblin. And a dual wielding goblin. Should be some more of those. Uh, here we have Halfling or gnome, yeah, pointy ear, so that's a gnome. Gnome fighter or paladin, helmet in the hand, a spiky shield on the back. Looks like an inter interesting character. Oh, uh, here's one I've actually forgotten to put together. Uh, looks like a female barbarian, and I haven't put on her cloak. Oh well. Here's basically Conan the Barbarian. Light armor, dual wielding a sword and an axe. Some more terrain. Gargle statues. Another commoner. Carrying a keg with some content, probably alcoholic. More terrain, some different mystical globes of some kind. And here you have some uh, very standard guardsmen or uh, Soldiers. Another goblin. Another female paladin or fighter. Interesting uh, eagle shaped shield. More goblins. Commoner carrying some. Water in a bucket, another male fighter or cleric or paladin with a mace. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a piece of terrain or a miniature. Um, I would think the former. Like a large column of, uh, with, with a kind of gargoyle on top. I'm not quite sure. It looks like the column is kind of made from uh, people, basically. So that's interesting. Another statue of the of the Grim Reaper or Angel of Death. That's cool. Speaking of Angel of Death, here's character with. A very deadly looking scythe. Interesting character. Another of these guardsmen. More goblins. There's a guy going a bit Shakespeare to be or not to be with the skull there. Interesting looking female dwarf there. Huge headgear and wielding a morning star. And she's got this cool lizard animal companion or familiar or something. There's a sage of some kind, got a bunch of scrolls. Arrow glasses on his nose. Oh look, another I had forgotten to assemble. Looks like a barbarian 
female barbarian or fighter. There's a dwarf fighter. And this one just looks like crazy, uh, crazy old lady. Another guardsman. There's a ranger. Another goblin. Speaking of, even more. Here's a pious guy. Plump and pious, dual wielding fighter or rogue, probably. Beggar, interesting wizard, female wizard with the pointy hat, nice staff. I like that. There are a couple of huge tomes that are supposed to sit on this uh, altar that I showed earlier. Oh, another dual wielding fighter, maybe ranger. Uh, these are definitely uh, kobolds. I think this is supposed to be a kobold. He's wearing a uh, masked helmet and even more of the gobo goblins. Gobbles. Here's someone wielding a whip. That's interesting. More of the kobolds. Here's some wanderer with a walking staff. Here you can see some uh, kind of goat people. Uh, I thought they were kind of interesting, kind of uh, short stature. There's a interesting mini, looks like a fighter of some sort, dual wielding, kind of Middle Eastern style to his uh, clothing. I think that's really cool, makes him stand out a bit. Another goblin, one tiny kobold and one fat uh, female kobold. Yeah, uh, they didn't just try to make a boobed, or <laughs> normally boobed kobold like a human would be. Uh, another Gandalfy guy. Very, looks very much like the one earlier, uh, but slightly different. Here's one more of the goat guys, might be even more of them. This one's cool, uh, like a goblin uh, shaman, and he's got a spider, large spider on his back, probably his familiar. Another couple of kobolds. Here's an interesting character. It's kind of levitating off the ground. Looks like a psionic of some sort. That's very interesting. Really, really like that uh, pose. It's a classic major warlock with a pseudo dragon, probably. That's a familiar. I like that several of these miniatures have uh, familiars on them. Oh yeah, here's a giant dire boar. That's pretty cool. Another greybeard wizard. More of the guardsmen. We are getting to the bottom of this uh, box here. Another guardsman there. I think that's the last of those. There's another fighter. This one looks female. Uh, kind of hard to tell, but I think that's female character. Again, with proper armor. Oh, stupid boot plates. Here's a gnome, probably wizard. 
illusionist perhaps or enchanter looks like he's about to hypnotize you oh here's one interesting miniature baba yaga standing on a huge cauldron that yeah could also get uh baba yaga's hut uh, I didn't get that one, but would probably have if I had uh, the money at the time, but I didn't. So there you go. Belly Dancer. Oh, and uh, here's another one I've forgotten to put together. This is... She's got a whip of some kind, like a chain whip. Not quite sure what that is, but it looks cool. Here we got some uh, ghouls, which is nice to have. I don't actually have many ghoul miniatures, so this really comes in handy. I've always just used my zombie miniatures for ghouls instead, so that's nice. Another goblin, this time with a huge curved sword. There's what looks like a halfling or gnome sorcerer or wizard. There we go. Kobolds with spears. Kobolds, uh, one with a bow and one with a large piece of paper and a staff, so I fear that's probably a wizard. And here's another commoner lady with uh, I don't remember what these are called in English. It's not my native tongue. But yeah, some baking equipment. She's gonna whack someone with. Very, very cool. Giant, dangerous looking crocodile. That's very nice. This vampire lady. Even got a tombstone on the base there. That's nice. And that kind of brings us to uh, this set of classic horror creatures, which I found very interesting. Um, you got the mummy, and then you got the female mummy. Then you have basically Dracula probably use him for uh, Count Strahd and then you have whatever female version of Dracula is called Vampire Queen then you have Frankenstein's monster and Bride of Frankenstein's monster and I think that was a really cool addition to this set so with all that there's only one miniature left in this corset, and that is this. I don't know. Oh yeah, we actually get this gargantuan sized dragon. Very cool. Uh, needs some work, um, but yeah, I think it's awesome looking and it's gargantuan. I have not yet decided what color to paint this, but however I'm going to paint it, I'm sure it will look awesome in the end. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Reaper Bones 4 Kickstarter core set. Like, watch and subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you in the next video!